White. We're live. White or black? White. Black or white? White. It don't matter if it's... What was that? Who was that by? MJ. MJ. Who's MJ? Michael Jackson. I need lots to talk what? about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I eliminated my <laughs> What's your name again? Jerica. Jerica. Ooh. Jerica's here. She's got long hair. And what are we going to do with Jerica's hair? Show us the pictures, Jerica. Come on, uh, Dana. Dana. <laughs> <laughs> You got a solitary person watching you right now. Four now. <laughs> so we're going to do this. Cute. So like a nice razory layer. Perfect. Is there any more? Uh, uh, who is that? Um, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Sienna Miller. Uh, yes, Sienna Miller. Sienna Miller. <laughs> okay, Jerrica. Let's do it. So a long razor. We'll start by bringing the length up. And we're going to cut it all with a razor because and then we'll do some little scissor work after so we're back on facebook live hello everybody <laughs> we're back we've got isabel here too good morning good morning yeah good morning and we have uh melissa melissa <laughs> <laughs> you have clients today yes i do nice little hydro mist right the way through just gonna drench that hair in the hydro mist now it's time for it to bring the length up. I'm gonna do it with a, I'm gonna do it with a razor quickly. So a nice clean section down the center back. And we have Dana behind the camera. Hello. You say, you say hi to everybody, Dana. Hi everybody. You got, like a dress and jeans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you wanted to wear both. I I was cold in the dress. Put on jeans. <laughs> no, it's not really a dress. It's, it's supposed not, to be a flowy top. It's a, it's a flowy top. A so tunic. That, that section's not right. Slightly twisted. Now my comb's done. It's all gone wrong. Uh. Such is life. <laughs> it's all gone. It's that tunic. You said the tunic. The tunic, <laughs> tunic, and you were like, oh. what the heck's a tunic? What's a tunic? A long top. A long top? Yeah. Okay. I think. <laughs> right? All right. So we'll lift up the chair. Let's go straight in with the classic razor layer. Wipe around the back. It's easy to see. And nice and tight. I'm going to rest it right on the back of the chair. And we can do what I like to call edge work. I want to get nice and close, Dana. you got to show us your, uh, your skills here. All right. With the uh, camera. Now you're becoming like a top international camera person, aren't you? Top yeah. international. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. International love. So you really want to get a nice clean line right the way through. And you put the section in, you put the shape in, you put the length in first because we are going to be layering the hair. And because we're taking off more than two inches, that's what we do. And this is called edge work. Now we just put our razor classes online. So you can sign up for Razor Classes for 2020. As we hit the new decade, we'd love to see you in the Erosho Academy. We have a lot of classes on schedule. We have a lot of guests too, from across the country. As we're changing the education up next year, some new different classes, which should be really fun and exciting for us all. If you do make a little mistake with your sectioning, go back in section, keep it nice and clean tell you why just keeps you mapped out very organized and keep that discipline very important to keep the discipline fine teeth of the comb and just use the edge you work from the inside out when you're working with a razor so it's kind of a little bit more balanced than it would be with a scissor because typically speaking with a scissor you cut one way with a razor, you can cut both ways. You can go left and right. So we start from the inside out, we comb the hair nice and tight, and then we just use what we like to refer to as the edge of the blade. The edge of the blade. Just to put in the clean line. The razor is touching my finger, but you get the control. So it doesn't 
cut. You can just literally tap onto your finger and uh, it won't cut it if you've got the right control there. So Isabel, you work here in Brooklyn, do you come stand over here? Yeah? Yes. How long have you been here now? <coughs> Uh, seven months. Is that an American accent? Might be. It <laughs> might be. What part some, of the, some days. What part, <laughs> of, what part of America is that from? New York. Nueva York. Nueva York. You're hanging out with the Spanish New Yorkers. I'm with the Spanish New Yorkers. She's with the Spanish New Yorkers. And you work here in Williamsburg? Yes, I'm here for five days. Nice. And last week, yeah, last week you was out in, uh, where would you say, Augustine? Yes, went to Florida, uh, St. Augustine, did a show with Billy Avalon, Billy Avalon and the Push Push Salon team. Did a show Sounded with like a band, didn't it? Billy Avalon and the Push Push Salon team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it here first, Billy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Billy Avalon and the Push Push, Push, Push team. Push <laughs> It was really fun. Did you have a good like, time? It, yeah, it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of amazing artists there. Sharing some inspiration. DJ. Did you DJ? No. Did Billy DJ? No. <laughs> well, the DJ was amazing, I must say. Yeah, yeah, it was great music. Yeah, it was a good time. And what was it? I had like a hair jam? Yeah, it was like a hair jam. So everyone was up on stage and we did like three sets, three different artists. Because it was very, each hair was very different, mm -hmm. and everyone was showing their own like personality and style. What did you do? I did like a kind of punk rock, like mullet style vibe, mm -hmm. um, which really suited my model, like her personality and like kind of what she wears, and stuff like that. She really liked it, and um, had an amazing colorist called Michelle who helped me with the color, and we made it like super fiery and like. An orange flamey style. It was very fun. I've got, I just got the picture actually last night, so I will. Where is it? I'll post it today. Post it today. So we can share. Yeah, show us right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Show us right now. I will show you. Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Danny, you don't sit quiet over there. I know. I'm why, just why listening. You, why are you so I'm watching quiet? and listening. Okay, this is my beautiful model. She's called Chunky Peanut Butter on Instagram, but her name's Alyssa. Ch Chunky Peanut Butter. Chunky peanut butter. <laughs> oh, cool. That and looks great. Super cute. She was really cool. She's kind of like all tatted. Yeah. You know. The makeup looks great too. Did somebody do that? Ooh. Yeah, the makeup artist was awesome. She like, we, she messaged me and said, what do you want? And we would like create this look and she did a great job. It was very nice. Very nice. Um, and this dress actually belongs to Lena Rojo. Because <laughs> <laughs> we could dress our models in like whatever we wanted. Yeah. So yeah, wear? thank you, what Lena. <laughs> this beautiful dress that Lena gave it. <laughs> very cool. So why are you bringing everything back? I bring everything back to follow my line. Because once I layer it, I'm going to it's going to kind of take out a little bit of the corner, but I want to keep as much squareness as possible. So I bring everything back over the shoulder. And now we've got the length in. Now we can go in and do the layers. The length right in. She's got very straight hair. So it's silky straight. So it lends itself well to a razor. It's fine hair. She's got plenty of it, which is good. And I've got great products. It's going to help me to really develop some body and texture in there. Just came back from Florida, I was in Florida yesterday, did some product knowledge in a couple of salons, took a few meetings, a little whirlwind trip to Florida myself. I came back late last night. All right, fine teeth of the comb. We're gonna come from like about the corner of the mouth and down, so we can really get some layers through here. You've really got to judge this perfectly. Put your angle in with your fingers. Let's get that razor moving up and down. And now we're going to apply a different pressure. And the angle of the blade is going to come down the hair. 
we're just working down to the to the length that I've already established. You want to just keep it very low. You don't want to have any elevation right here. So keep it nice and low. Work all the way down to the pre-existing length that you just established. Put most of the shape around the face. That's the way to do it. Most of the shape is around the face. And the head down. And around. Back of the blade. Just behind the fingers. So notice how I'm coming to natural fall. And I'm actually following the guideline. It's a nice sunny day in Brooklyn today, eh? Mm -hmm. Not too mm. cold. Nice. Very nice. It's bringing in the heat. So you'll see right here, there's the length. You can see right here I'm working all the way to that length. Keep that corner right in. My sections are parallel. And this time I'm going to start to drag the hair slightly forward. Because right now I'm going to start to allow that layering to kind of move, move into the hair more. So you kind of feed. The, you, the razor follows the fingers. You practice really great combing. The razor follows the fingers and you can just follow your guide. Nice tight tension. Just melt the hair away. So we have, uh, I'll be heading out to North Carolina this uh, coming weekend. I'm going to meet with some prospective salons and catch up with some of my existing business. And then after North Carolina, I'm going to head out to, uh, back to New York for Happy Mondays. Special edition of Happy Mondays. We have six guest artists on the platform with us. And then, uh, and then we'll be going to Chicago to do a little hair jam which should be a lot of fun. And that's gonna be, yeah, on uh, December 9th. On December 9th, we'll do our hair jam, and then it'll just, we're just gonna roll right the way into Christmas and into the new year, and then next year we've got a, a whole new beginning. Don't forget, check out our expo. Early bird pricing ends at the end of this month, end of November. So be ready to get your tickets for expo. It's at the TW TWA Hotel in, uh, at JFK. It's going to be off the charts. Now I've got to be careful. I don't want to let this get too heavy too fast. I want to make sure we've got enough layering in here. Yeah. As I see kind of like the sharp layers in here, I want to make sure we've got enough. When you're talking, you've got to like stay focused. Let's drop that chair down just a little. It's going to get me. I'm going to lift this hair up. We have a question. Yeah. Uh, Ron Khan asks, yeah, what is reverse graduation, Nick? Reverse graduation, Ron Khan, is when the hair gets longer. Usually with graduation, the hair gets shorter. Reverse graduation is where the hair gets longer. So it's shorter underneath. And rather than graduating so that it elevates, it graduates backwards so it gets longer. It's good for curly texture. Because if you're doing curly texture, the hair expands. So if you do like a reverse graduation, you can keep it squarer because uh, as the hair expands, it won't look shorter. If you do reverse graduation, it'll keep more weight in the hair. And I hope you're doing well, Mr. Roncon. I was trying to get to see you today, but it just never happened. I was in your neck of the woods. We've been reaching out to your, uh, to your boss, but it's not going back to us. I don't think he has anyway, unless something's changed. So let me know coming back to Florida soon. And we're back on Facebook Live now, which is great because uh, we had it, it was broke for a little while. Mm -hmm. Last week it was on uh, Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. On the gram, baby. Yeah, the past two weeks. Yeah. On the gram. So you can see the elevation, take the section all the way now, it's the central section right the way through the back. Yeah, elevate this all the way up. Open stroke, just to get more softness in the hair with an open stroke. Now forward, flat side of the blade, 
as we work right the way in. And you can see how long these layers are in the back, which is going to give the weight to the hair, which is nice. You don't want to over layer it or get too fine. Now she's losing quite a bit of hair, but she's, her hair's still staying long. Yeah, so she's losing quite a bit of hair, but her hair still stays long. Now it's time to do the opposite side. Literally 15 minutes into the cut, Woo. we're two thirds of the way done. So it doesn't have to take a long time. And you should really work, you know, in the salon, we book hair on the 45 minute. Just keep that hydro mist. You can spray a lot of this in, it won't, it won't break the hair. It won't collapse the hair. Exactly the same on this side. First section, pass me the water spray. The hair's just a little dry. That's the heat on. That's good. Keep the hair it looks moist, so it's free. You don't want the hair dripping, but you want to keep some moisture in the hair. Sometimes the hydro mist is so light, it won't add too much, it won't add too much weight to the hair. It'll just let some slip. To the side. Run the hair down and around to the side. See the blade coming all the way down the hair shaft. Ian from Manchester says hi. Oh, Ian from Manchester. <laughs> Ian Graham. Hi, Ian. Do you know Ian? <laughs> Isabel? I don't think so. Fiber hairdressing. I don't think I do, no. No? No. I used to work with them if you don't want to It's not jacket pick for you. This is a dad blazer. It's what? Dad blazer. A dad blazer. Is that what they call it? A That's dad what they blazer. Call it now. They're in. Are they? They are. It's called an overfit. <laughs> <laughs> it's called fashion baby. It's fashion baby. <laughs> an overfit. <laughs> I suppose it's good if I get fat, I can wear an overfit. I can layer up under this. <laughs> it's really not that cold, but. Not that cold. Nice boots, Isabel. Oh, thank are you. Yes. This is my new fall attire. It's the newest, the new fall look. Yeah. Look how fine the hair is. It's the kind of hair that gets tangled super easily. Being super fine. Just take out those jingle jangles, those tangles. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. Oh, is that a little snot? It's a little snot, I guess. Last week I didn't see it. Comes Lucy. We have a staff meeting here today, which is exciting. Aww. Aww. We had somebody Aww. say something in Spanish. I'm wondering yeah, if we can translate. Let's well, say. Translate. Uh, Tenemos muchas preguntas para Nick Tomanserwer. They have a lot of our questions for Nick, but yeah, you speak Spanish too. Um, but what? Tomansar? I think it was a. Where is it? Toman. T O M A N S W R R. Yeah. She's working on it. Yeah, me either. I think it's a spell error. Yeah. I didn't like it. Fell asleep on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's early. <laughs> it is early. <laughs> so this is, I call this like a touch point. I get to this point here, it's the corner behind the back of the ear. And I'm going to check it to the opposite side and see how balanced we are. Elevate that out a little. Soft. You gotta put a little bit more feel into your work. So just, you know, when you're cutting with a scissor, it's a little bit more architectural, it's a little bit more precise. When you cut with a razor, there's a little bit more flow and rhythm. More impact into your work. Seems to be working pretty good. You gotta get the elevation right on both sides. So you gotta have good memory, you know exactly where you're at. Again, just make sure your comb gets right into the root and then your blade is moving up and down and the comb gets right into the root and just melt that hair away. 
Ian asks, Nick, would you use the heel of the blade to do the outline or always the flat? Uh, the outline, you're going to use a bit of both because you're going to cut from the inside out. So when you're cutting to the left, it's the heel, and when you're cutting to the right, it's the tip. If you use the flat when you're cutting the outline, you're going to make it wispier. On hair like this, I didn't need to make it any wispier. I wanted to make sure that I kept some consistency in there. I'm going to cut this fine, this section, and then I'll do a little touch again, a little touch point, and see there's this side clearly mapped out where that little grey hair is. Just going, huh? Oh my god. Just, just letting her know. She's got a little grey hair. She, maybe she plucked it. <laughs> she you probably pluck did. Out, did you pluck out your grey hairs? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Come in, I guess. Have all of it. 29. Oh, shit, it's over. <laughs> 29. When's your birthday? January 23rd. Nice. Are you going to be 30? Yeah. Yippee. That's an Aquarius. I love yeah. Aquarius. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Aquarii. Aquarii. I don't know. Is that a show on TV? <laughs> Aquarii for a straight guy? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a TV show? <laughs> <laughs> Dating game with only Aquariuses. <laughs> <laughs> So you see I stand by it in front and I'm just gonna pull this and I'm lifting and I'm just seeing. And I feel like we're in the we're in the right place. That's just like a little check in. Not chicken, check in. It's a little chicken if he was from <laughs> from Liverpool it'd be a chicken. <laughs> Is it both the only one that got that? <laughs> Ian knows. Ian knows. <laughs> Ian knows. <laughs> Maria from VA says, good morning. Thank you for your presentation at Summit Salon. Um, it was wonderful. Thank you. Uh-oh. Another? Another, another oh. couple of <laughs> <laughs> Since we started talking, <laughs> making color clients as we speak. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh man. The elevation here, out of the blade, still got plenty of weight through the back, plenty of weight through the back. You can see how long the layers are, but where's the hair going to end up? Is when the hair's pushed through? <coughs> where's the hair going to end up? I'm going to put this over this way, stay there. Just pinch that little piece over. And then the final thing to do is you're gonna go from the back and then we're gonna use a little scissor and then it'll be time to style. Now what did we shampoo her with? I did gentle. Gentle. Gentle, yeah. <laughs> what do you like about the gentle shampoo? Well for her, she has really dense fine hair. Mm -hmm. So it was nice and skinny enough in order to penetrate um, the entirety of her scalp. So and it's nice and light. And the condition is lightweight too, which means it doesn't weigh the hair down, so the hair's got nice and a lot of bounce to it. And you know, for those clients that are looking for all of the, you know, ingredient story that is more natural, that's what a gentle shampoo hits the spot. It's more of an organic shampoo. It's a higher volume of natural ingredients. All right, sulfate free, paraben free, a whole nine yards. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come through here and we're gonna work through a little bit more, and a little bit more layering in through the back. We got another question. Yeah. It says, Nick, why do you work all the sections through the center back? I work all my sections from the front to the back to enable me to keep weight through the back. So when you're dragging everything forward, it's getting longer towards the back. So once I've done that, that's like my safety. It keeps the weight through the back. That's where I want the client to feel like she still has, a, you know, some thickness and some swing. And now what I'm doing is I'm coming through the entire back, over there, it's backwards, to lighten that a little bit more. 
I like to refer to this as what I call knocking out the corner. So when I comb this hair back, I can just knock out the corner. <laughs> So as I come through here, I'm just knocking out the corner because there's a little corner that's been sat in here. And then I'll just take it out. And then I use the tip of the blade to just lightly put a little bit more translucency in. I don't think it's happening, are you? What are you laughing at, the great, big grey patch? Are you laughing at the grey patch? No, of course not. <coughs> Do you know you got a grey patch back here? Don't tell her. <laughs> Don't tell her. It's a melon streak. It's okay. You called it a melon streak? Melon. Oh. Melon. Yeah, it was a book called The Melon Streak. Oh. That was silver. They had a silver streak in there. Hmm. work through you see the softness I just you'll notice I'm just looking through it I'm just gonna refine yeah refine refine just take out a little bit of the density a little bit more transparency and that runs that layering in so she's got movement now we'll do the other way so I'll spin it this way as I know Dana likes to conserve energy. <laughs> she moves. I don't want to make people dizzy. Yep. That's good. Whoa. <laughs> you guys are not so mean. No. So again, look at how long the, the hair is. You can see how long the hair is. As we come through with the flat of the blade. Just to soften. So I'm using the side flat plane of the blade to add softness. And these sections just uh, radiating around the round of the head. Make sure you comb it with the fine teeth of the comb. The nice thing with the hydro mist, it puts a little bit of moisture in the hair. So even as the hair gets dry, you still have that little bit more slip of moisture. Got a question. Yes. How much do you allow the drop? How much do you allow to drop out and why? Uh, I'm just dropping out. The, the only thing that falls out is the corner, is the outline. So right here. So you want to have enough of a baseline so that the hair doesn't get too skinny on the bottom. And uh, just by pulling this hair up slightly, the baseline will fall out. It's usually from the occipital bone and below. That's typically where we go from the baseline and below. Just going to comb it up. Now the next thing I'm going to do to finish off is I'm going to get my volume foam. I'm going to get my scissors. We'll do a little scissor cutting. And then we're going to put some volume foam throughout. And that's going to really help us give her a little bit more volume and movement and fatten up the hair. You doing okay, Greg? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks so good. Nice. So nice. You are making me give you Do you push it more one way than the other? Uh, I do. Yeah, that side. Well, this way, yeah. <laughs> so we cut it from the center, it gives us all the options, but now it's time for us to just have a look. And again, see the hair now is like 70% dry, so I'm just going to go through with a scissor. It's important to allow the hair to dry out a little and then not use a razor, just the scissor because that can really then help you, you can help you see your shape. Oh. Ron Khan says 75 year anniversary of Videl Sassoon's and you don't look a day over 30. Thanks. With <laughs> one of these. <laughs> How many years is without so soon? It's not 75, is it 65? 65, yeah. 65. They just did the last collection with 65 years. 65 years, yeah. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. You used to work there as well, yeah? Yeah. How long did you work for us at Everdown Cecil for? I was at the Manchester location for 12 years. Yeah? Yeah. And how long was your training program? Training program was for three. Yeah. And we did like. So we did two full years in the overall education of like MVQ. And then the last year was like what we wanted to specialise in, which for me was uh, cutting and styling. Nice, nice. Ed, Ed. Hey, buddy. Hello. <laughs> I'm filming right now. What, what do we got? Oh, we're going to shut the water tomorrow. Love it. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. New York. You know what? I love New York so much. Shut the water tomorrow. Uh-oh. For our salon. Thank you, New York. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I love you. Great. I know you're filming. Bring it over. Let's have a look at it. Bring it over. Let's have a look. If we shut the water tomorrow, bye. Yeah, we'll <laughs> the water off tomorrow. What does it say, is wow. it? Dry cuts only. The water supplies to your building will be shut off. <laughs> and what time? Due to construction. 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. So we'll have 12, so 12 till 4 it'll be, it'll be off. Because we open at 12. It's very last minute. <laughs> wow, what are we going to do? Uh, Dry cuts, braids. Oh, like, uh, yeah, I don't know what you <laughs> I'm in New York. It stinks. Organize a uh, mess up in a brewery. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming in. Good to see ya. <laughs> oh my god. So you'll see this fine hair definitely. So we're going to use the volume phone, and we're also going to use uh, a little bit of shine looks on. Just a little bit of movement, a little bit of slip on the ends. She's done. Feel good, babe? Yeah. She doesn't look a day over 29. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, there's a classic, classic long layer with a razor. And uh, you know, the nice thing is, is when you think about how short the layer is, you don't want to go too short because you should take more away from everywhere. But that's just about enough. Mm -hmm. And she'll be able to, you know, wear this in the center. She'll be able to wear it either side. What we'll do now is we'll put the volume foam in and we'll do a really nice bouncy blowout. And the shine looks all right at the ends. And we'll go over here and we'll do Cerise's head. I'm bright. Cerise, yeah? Should we have a ra do we have another razor? We yeah. do. Yeah. Mm. All right. Wow. When was it cut last, baby? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Cute. So who cut it? Damp it down. And do you have your pictures, your inspiration? Let's have a look. And who did the colour? Brittany. That's cute. In Soho? Yeah. Great. With the picture? So there's our inspiration. But the fringe not too short. Not too short. Okay. Was this cut short before? Yeah. Underneath. So really the shape's kind of there. I think what we need to do is give it some structure. This is going to be more of a scissor cut. I think it needs some more scissor work than razor work. So we're going to come in through the back and we'll get set up and situated. A little hydro mist. Got to clean up the ends, it looks a bit chewy. A little Star Wars, isn't it? <laughs> a little chewy. <laughs> I love Jimmy. 
All right, so section it centre back. Centre back. Nice clean section. Let's start above. She's got some stuff under here, but I'm not going to play with her. I'm going to try and simplify. As you can see, she's already got a ton of stuff going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to put the line in. And I'll spin my hand around this way so you can see. And just get that length in. Working with my Rojo B-Max shears. Just to help us establish a nice clean line. It nice and tight, she's already got a lot of texture already put in. What size are your shears? These are five inch shears. Can you pass my red comb, please? This is yeah. I've got one. Five, five inches are good for um, precision based cutting. Tighten that up a little. the hairline straight down probably won't be too much on the skin because I'm gonna put once I get this line in and once I run out of hair I'm gonna to start to elevate Are you getting in there kiddo my camera girl so just comb like this you can only do this with this comb it's a classic scissor comb can't do it with a razor comb. Doesn't work. And here we're just going to clean up the hairline. Sometimes you can, you know, if you want to put the trimmers on, you can. I prefer to try not to do that too, too much. If it's necessary. So there's the line, and now I'm just going to clean that line up. Because really there's a lot of stuff going on. Bring that line up. Find the teeth of the comb. Now we have to deal with the drama of having no, uh, no water tomorrow. No. I'm going to have to make some plants. I'm going to make them red. Yep. Now we're going to start to angle the section. And now we're going to add a little graduation. Let's angle the section back in. Um, Nick, are you going to have any holiday promotions on the tools or classes or anything? Yeah, I think what we should do is get ready for next next Friday. Next mm -hmm. Friday will be uh, Black Friday. We'll get ready for Black Friday. We'll do some special stuff. We're looking good with that camera. Thing. <laughs> Getting all the angles. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be the last sale before the end of the year. Black Friday weekend. I think it goes all the way through Cyber Monday, yeah? A lot of times of promotion. So stay tuned. And we'll let you know what we're doing. So I'm coming this hair straight back. Fine teeth the comb to get nice even tension. Nice clean sectioning. And you have straight back and down. And allow that hair to, to move and talk to you. She has super dense curly hair. Super cute. You may have seen some recent some back photographs. She's uh She's been in the modern uh, collections many times. 
Yeah, we just posted you the other day. That's rubber. It was blonde, right? Yeah. Oh, that was the American wave shoot and the rubber. Yeah. Oh, this is American wave? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. That was the American wave shoot. Oh. Section's small, so you can follow your cup in a much better way. I'll stay on this side for my uh, photographer here, <laughs> my camera girl. In, all the way. Some precision based cutting classes. Next year, I did a very successful cutting class myself this year, so we decided to add a few more to the roster for 2020. So if you look into strengthening up your skill, and you want to up your scissor cutting game, then you can definitely come and see us for your classic scissor education. You know, I think a, a lot of our foundation is somewhat based in its assumed mythology, mythology. And, um, but we've evolved it over the years. So in my last section before I do the opposite side, I kind of always work to the crown. See right here, a little bit more coming out. When do you go over the knuckles and then? Um, comfort. What was that? Comfort. Oh, comfort. Yeah. So, like in here. On the inside of your fingers. If I did it here, my elbow's high, as if I did it like this, mm. my elbow can drop. So it's more about the comfort level. That's really why you, you change your weight. And is it? You can help me. And you're oversized. <laughs> Adam's family. <laughs> That was my inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> we had him somewhere. <laughs> Down and back. Down. Comb upright. Keep your comb upright. You get even, more even tension. And here we go. You can see a lot of doing it off. Take those comfort for you. Just move the blade around a little in your hand. You know what to do. This will be my final section. Now I'm going to move into the sides. So use the spine of the comb to get nice top tension, especially when the hair's been processed like this. You've got to get really even tension right the way throughout. Okay, so 
and then it comes to the side. Stay right in here. Hi, bro. Get it out of those pockets. Sandwich. <laughs> a bagel, please. For some. I'm a coffee. So we'll take our section here into the front. I'll bring this behind the back here. I'm not worried about, I just want nice even tension. Obviously, so he says super curly hair. So there's me expanding. I'll take that section as my guide. I'll turn this. My fingers in. Put it all away. Section. There's your guideline. Elevation. All the way in. Well, at least we have a staff meeting here in Brooklyn to discuss what we're going to do tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. That's what happens when you're in a construction zone. Williamsburg is a bit of a construction zone. Those are all these new places. The gentrification. To continue. So many places in there now. A lot, yeah. Do the B Max also come in ergonomic swivel like shears? No. No, I don't really believe nope. in that stuff to be honest with you. Why is that and put my thumb in? Thumb doesn't go in. If your thumb goes in then you need a little bit more of an ergonomic. I was always trained not to put my thumb in. I must finish one side and I'll go to the other. Hydro mist, a nice lightweight spray conditioner is going to add shine and body into the hair. Section that all the way through. This is there. She's got this, so we'll do exactly the same as we did. Spread it over the top of the ear. Comb this back with your six inch classic scissor comb. <laughs> And then we're just going to comb this. There we go. Section across. Across. Comb that hair back. Find the teeth of the comb. Follow it in. Your fingers. Pining in towards the job. Next section. Keep those feet moving around the chair. You never stay steady. A 
as a hairdresser, you're always winning. centre and then we attack the bangs. I'm going to come through the centre over the top before I do the bangs like that. I'm going to do like my connection piece. I'm going to stand right behind the point and now we're going to come from the back. And we're going to elevate it up. Dropping oh. today. Got one in my pocket. That's good. Hydro <laughs> mist. <laughs> must be something like Someone said, nice color. What tone is that, Nick? From L'Oreal. Lucy. Colt Riot. <laughs> Lucy. 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 Lucy knows. <laughs> Anyone knows Lucy knows? Lucy, what's this color, do you think? It's beautiful. Maybe some like Colt Riot, Lilac, like a little powder in there. That's what you reckon? Smoke. Yeah. Pope, it's really pretty. Lila, it? Pope. Oh, it looks so pretty. Yeah, I bet it's Pope Riot. Pope Riot. What's it called? Lilac? Uh, lilac. Lilac. Uh, powder. Powder. What's powder? It's like a baby blue, but like, it gives you that mm. like, blue, grapey purple. Uh huh. I'm not sure what thing you said. Maybe like a little smoke, too, for the like, little gray vibes. Oh, it's green. Gray. Oh, gray. It's <laughs> <laughs> really cute. Yeah. Yeah, love it. Thank you, Lucy. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's do more. Sweet. No Cream Whip is, no a, is like a liquid. It's so lightweight and airy. It's and it's like and it's like like moisture and softness. A softness oh, into the hair. Okay. And they're doing like clear horror movies at this place. And it's it's all not all sticky all at all. And then they go little things today. And I'll so you notice know, how we eat a lot. That's so funny. Someone said they're very excited for the bangaroonies. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica Lawrence. <laughs> they knew. Yep. The bangaroonies were coming. Let me just lock in a little bit of this curl before I do the bangaroonies, is it? I don't want to do too much. Just a little bit of light twisting. Help me diffuse it. Then I'll take my banger in section, <laughs> the big deep triangle. I've got one side of it right there. I'm gonna go too short with the bangs, but we're gonna cut them. 
I'm gonna clean them off. The hair was like yeah. very choppy. So sometimes when the hair is so choppy like that, just refining it is the best. prepping it, I'm like mapping out my time. So by prepping it now, because I'm not going to cut this again, so by prepping it now, then I can have that dry. And there's my bangaroony section. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's the bangaroony section. Super dense, not super saturated the hair, doesn't need to be. It's kind of hair with, especially with the porosity, will hold a little bit of moisture. Says, did you know? Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Time's first time tomorrow. Maybe four now. <laughs> <laughs> So nice. All right. Bangaroonies. Hydro mist. Cross. Section his head down. Let's cut him right to just uh, below the eyebrow. The reason I'm cutting to below the eyebrow is because they're going to swing. Mm -hmm. They're going to Wayne's World. Swing, swing. Swing, swing. I love that though. So just going to break in. Point cutting. A little point cutting. Don't need to cut it so clean. Just get it to just around the eyebrow. And flies. Strong combing, nice and precise. Mary asks, is there a reason you use the finest teeth of your comb to comb and set her curls and not the wide end? Because I want to comb the hair very smooth, Mary. I want to comb it very smooth and the fine teeth are going to get that smoothness. If you comb it with the white teeth, it's going to be more loose. So 
want to comb it very smooth. All right, Isabel, you want to start drying? Yeah. Do you have a diffuser? Yes. Let's get a diffuser. Shake that hair away. Comb it forward. Product's already in. Products in everywhere. <laughs> Jessica Lawrence says, every time I watch Nick work, I think of Wayne's World scene. We're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> I like Wayne's World. <laughs> Just in here. Just gonna do a little clean up. I'm gonna clean up a little bit more at the end too. You can see this is why the hairline, this is why the underneath's been cut short already. Because the hair does jump and shrink. She's there. Uh, it's got like, you know, low hairline, it's very soft and furry. Like little cats. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> you, get your, you get your comb in there so you don't take it all off. Get your comb in there. Just softens out. A little soft fur. The soft fur. Now a little point for thing in ear. Soft ear. Okay, is it, is it? Yeah. Let's get busy. Yeah. Just diffuse and I'll go over and look at. We'll go over here and look at my long layer. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's a classic long razor layer. You can see all the Movement. So much more layering. movement. A lot of movement in through the back. Still a lot of thickness and volume in the hair. You know, as if she pulls the hair away, the little piece of top piece is going fall out. So she's got the shape that she was looking for. Let's go through with a little finish. So I dry shampoo, warm the hair, it's great for adding a bit of structure in the hair. Just to get a little bit more volume holding control. We like to say, take small skin sections and shot bursts. This is a nice, clear texturizer. Also doubles up as an amazing dry shampoo. Pumping up the volume. Yeah, it's really gonna help to add more movement in the hair. Comes in travel size also. See how it just expands. Great product. It really changes the texture. Great for every client and also great for every hairdresser on a session on a session. Yeah, you wanna on a shoot. You don't really want a hairspray maybe. Want something to build up some of the bulk. She burn enough. Burn baby burn. This going fair now. Frying tonight. <laughs> Smells like bacon. Um, we got some comments. Yes. Amazing work makes your beautiful neck look longer. <laughs> um, and then your shoes are shiny, Nick. Comments on that. Nice, shiny shoes. Like them. And then Jessica would like to know more about the diffuser that we're yeah. using over there. Well, we'll over there and I'll take over. Sure. Looks great. So much fun. volume. It's my little gold hold. Nice lightweight spray. Look how fine this spray is. It smells really good too. It's lovely. Don't disappear. Stay there. Come on over. 
<laughs> so the diffuser, this is called the YS Park Diffuser. And uh, we sell them on erosiopro.com. Fits in every dryer. Keep your hand in here so you can feel the heat. When diffusing. Now, the twin turbo blow dryer. Get some new blow dryers coming out next year. We're working on some new tools. Do you want to take the cape off, please, you see? At this point, we take the dryer, we take the diffuser off. There it is. And at this point, we just start. Uh, Give it a little magic. Fun. You okay? I think you dry conditioner here. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, good. Nice. That would be good too. How about? All of them. Yeah, all people. <laughs> Don't dream it, be it. So don't be scared of the curl. Don't be scared of it. Just learn how to clean with curly hair texture. See how it goes. in the hair. If it gets a little fuzzy, it's not that this is a dry conditioner, so it doesn't make the hair stiff, it just adds a little bit of silk. Right on time for the staff meeting. 11 o'clock. You are quick. That's what we do, babe. Let's get on there just a little bit more. So we won't be here next week, we'll be back the week after. We've got a very special Brooklyn Live coming up. We're gonna do an American Wave with hair extensions. Ooh. So we're gonna get a special one coming up. So download our app from the App Store, the Rojo Social, and then I'll get you connected to what we're doing. And then you'll be able to see what's coming up next. The best way to stay connected, and don't forget, we have a class this weekend, Hollywood Waves taught by an amazing teacher, Anne-Marie. And then we have uh, our schedule for next year, starting to get posted. And then don't forget we have our amazing Expo event 2020. I think we might see Cherise there. She's always mom there. Mm -hmm. We'll finish it off with a little bit of our glint. Our texture and shine spray. And then we'll take everybody over to the red wall so we can do our little final red wall magic. This is a nice product. This is like a little shine and texture. It's called American Wave Glint. Glad we did that. <laughs> shrunk they jump up you see I like that they jump so you can, they're cut like this long so they jump up but you know it's freshly done so it'll it'll drop a little bit but a nice little expanded shape all right to the red wall the pair of you come on let's go let's go we'll have a final look just let me stand over here for me please ladies to the red wall <laughs> nice conga line So there you have it. We had our little uh, lovely Cerise having her little 
lavender curly <laughs> textured bob and then what's your name again jerica jerica my spanish translator yes. <laughs> yeah yeah another nice classic long layer thanks for tuning in we'll see you in two weeks time brooklyn live peace out thanks Izzy, for coming thank you bye let's go <laughs>